Today's video is about procrastination. Why do we procrastinate and can we stop it? I believe the main reason we procrastinate is due to the resistance effect. It can be described as an internal tension you feel when you think about doing something which is more uncomfortable than what you're doing right now. This effect works against you as it's generally much stronger when the task or action is more beneficial to you or is something you're passionate about. To understand this effect, I highly recommend the book War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. I will share some of the ways you can manipulate this effect to your advantage and therefore have a better chance in achieving your dreams and goals. Procrastination can be broken up into different phases. The first one is the resistance itself. It is a physical discomfort you feel as you remember what you should be doing. Let's say you're sitting down in your sofa and remember that big assignment you need to do by next month. You now feel a physical discomfort just by thinking about it. After that comes rationalization. Hasn't it happened to you? You're not thinking, it's okay, I probably won't do much work anyways because I'm not focused enough, so there really is no point carrying on with that assignment. Plus, I worked out this morning, so I deserve a break. You see, that is resistance. If that has happened to you, don't worry. It's actually extremely common and even happens to famous artists. Da Vinci took 16 years to finish the Mona Lisa and left many projects unfinished. To address it, I believe it is very important to briefly know why it happens. It comes from, from the pursuit of instant gratification activities. We often drown ourselves in meaningless activities to forget about the uncomfortable work we actually need to do. I will talk about this in more detail in future videos. A study done at Windsor University wanted to see how people would react when the procrastination caused a real problem. For example, putting off going to the doctor when you have a serious infection that could have been treated in the past. A quote from the study said, Procrastinators focused on how to make themselves feel better at the expense of drawing insight from what made them feel bad. In other words, they took what is called a downward counterfactual approach, which are statements that reflect the desire to improve one mood in the short term. You should therefore take an upward counterfactual, which is embracing difficulties now to learn something new about the future. But how do you actually do this? Like Shia LaBeouf said, Just do it! Yup. It's that easy. I will talk about this in more detail in my next videos and I will also speak about mindsets which beat procrastination. So stay tuned.